This is Dr. Loretta Seraldo, a board certified dermatologist and author of Six Weeks to Sensational Skin. This is about how to get rid of corns. And short of showing you my foot, we're going to use our hand and say that corns are little projections of dead cells, so they kind of look just like something dead that's stuck on, almost some people compare it to a little skin colored bug that gets stuck onto your skin. And a corn oftentimes is coming from the fact that your shoe has been a little bit too tight. So the first way to try to get rid of a corn is to take a very good look at your shoes. Women may want to go into their closet. If you see that your shoe is very, very pointy, and most of your shoes are pointy, and that these corns are on the outermost toes, then probably your corns are being caused in great part by really that rubbing and that friction of your pointy shoe against your toe. So I'd say to you, the first thing to do is to change the shoes that you're wearing if you're in earnest about getting rid of the corns. And you've got to switch to a much more rounded instead of a pointed toe shoe. Secondly, you may want to consider buying yourself a pumice stone. Now typically pumice stones are used for the heel of the foot, but guess what? They can work pretty well on corns too. And what you want to do is you want to stay in the shower until you really soak up your skin very, very well. And the way that you would know if your foot skin and your corn has been soaked up well enough with soaking up with water is look at your fingertips. If your fingertips have gotten wrinkled, then you put a lot of water back into your skin. Come out, take that corn, take the pumice stone, and actually while your skin is still moist, rub away the corn with the pumice stone. Best of luck, this is Dr. Loretta Seraldo.